Hi guys. Are you joining me today? I am myself and Shami Winters are gonna fish the deeps on we've been we've been planning this for a while or saying that we're gonna do it but it hasn't got around. Uh, as you can see there the water is fairly high so there won't be very much room behind us for it to put gear or that so we'll have to scale down. Anyway I just when I pulled up I thought get a video of that. The sky looks lovely. Uh, the lake looks lovely, it's nice and calm. I think the breeze is gonna be off our backs. Uh, but sure look, I was just capturing this, I'll get back to you later. Friday morning, the third. I don't know whether that got that enough. Friday morning, third of January. Half bag, trap our gold series competition. A third of a bag, Silver X skimmer mix. There we go. Half a bag of black egg. Like in a minute, just gonna get like...
Right guys, the other day I tried to show you uh, how to make floating maggots um, and somewhere along the line I lost the footage so again these aren't the freshest of maggots I'd rather, and they're between two of us I'd rather have fresher maggots so I'm just Putting a handful in there. Uh, next job. <sighs> Vanilla Coke. One. Uh, tell you in a minute. So again. Just a drop. Just enough to over them and give them a little swirl around right and I will come back to them it'll be the next thing I do on this camera hi right. so we're over here ground bait's done what you see me doing in the car park there uh, I'm just going to run it through the riddle here. I think it's important to run it through the riddle to get any big lumps over. It doesn't take that long. fluffy mix. I'll probably add some more water to that. While we're on it, uh, here's Sleeping Beauty. Talking to yourself again? Yeah. Morning. Morning. I'll keep going. Yeah. I thought you might keep going up that end. <laughs> you love up and down trees. Yeah. I hate that slop. And I know you probably end up paying for it in the long run. I'll just take you through, as you can see. Yeah. It's sloppy, sloppy though. I'm 53, I don't need that pressure on me fucking hard pushing the wheelbarrow. After, yeah. Yeah, so do I. What's, what's happening here? No, 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 no. I'm on money here in front of you. No, I had to go into battery. So this is a view from Shamey's Peg. We'll have a little chat when he gets back and set up. So there's the ground right done. Nice and fine. Can give that a good hard squeeze. I won't come out of either, or I can just give it a light squeeze and it'll burst out of the feeder. Uh, so that's that's the ground I sorted. I'll wait till I put in. I'll split it into two. Actually, I'll split it into two now. This is where I'm going to be feeding. Of course, I'll show the lean into that. Give it a little run around with it. It's not much. I 
that this was a match with uh, this was a match I'd put a half bag a lame or a kilo a lame him or a kilo of ground bag that sort of 50 50 mix or 60 40 uh, depending right so sure while we have it here we'll check out and see what these maggots are like they've been sitting there for 20 minutes no they didn't work i got a few floaters uh, nothing to write home about and that's why it's important to get fresh maggots okay can't emphasize that enough fresh bay Pressing Innovations 1.1 So it's a one ounce bomb um, The theory behind that is it drops fucking two foot per second Some people think more but I'm Just setting up the Stopwatch See what I have I won't do it yet anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is the count that I got there in my head. But Fifteen. That count possibly less than that. Boy, here it goes anyway. We'll do it this time on the watch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. I did say it's possibly going to be twelve, but there you go, it's eleven, and I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a bit manky, like everything else here. So I'm going to have a little plumb around on this for a minute. Uh, just to see what it's like. That's not a bad depth anyway. Count of 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen there. Forty nine. Forty nine turns, which is probably about forty five meters. Um I'm using a Dyer Ninja Reel 4012A. Not a bad reel, cheap enough. I, so we'll see. I had 13, it was 11. 
in front. Count to nine, so it got shallower. Actually, I had a fish there, so I don't know what the story was. You seen that? Not man, just bleeding, plumbing up. And I broke me hookland. Strange. <coughs> so, right. I have to try that again because. Nine was probably a false reading. Ten. Yeah. So it's about eleven as well. I'm not that getting the fucking fish there plumbing up. Yeah. Uh, but it broke me hook length. So I didn't actually get it, but... Very strange. Strange, that. Strange, that. So it's a little bit deeper in front of me than it is to the... Right, so I don't know whether the fish... Just two lines. And he was a 40 gram feeder. I uh, had to pull four. Four bits of feed out. Pinch your pinky, dead pinky, and cast it. And I'm just going to start off easy. Clipped up there, 41 thorns on this big rail. And 45 on the smaller rail.
Move, move her over. Move her. Yeah. So there's Shami's initial feed. Probably too much. Should we see? So we're going to put a load of ground bit in. Them. Because I want to use up this ground bit because I don't want to put it back in the freezer. Like that. It'll do. For the session? No. <laughs> Hope not. It'll do for the initial feed and it'll do for about probably an hour fishing. I have no warm in it. I would in a match, but I don't chop them up. That's the need. Don't think you need to here. Yeah. And then you just have cast the pinky on Maga. Yeah, getting fresh bait this evening, it's all a bit old. See, when it's all mixed through the, the ground bit, it's not, it's not it's that not many. So much. No. Probably is a bit like. If you're fishing somewhere hard, it's too much stuff in it, but for here, I hope you're going to catch some good fish. And then you're fishing, what, 20, what did you say, 27 tons? 30, 34, and 30, uh, 34 and 44, but they're two different places. Really. Yeah, that's I'll just go up here another bit and get you. She's starting to rain a little bit. Mm, I didn't think, yeah. on the short line started off. We're gonna be fishing there straight away but it's so deep you wanna give yourself a bit of a head start. 22 foot. Cage window feeder and strike it on the way down and should put the particles all through the water. Okay. Do you always do that? <laughs> yeah. Well not on not on hard places like you wouldn't do this, you'd you'd ruin your swim before you start, but you think it's gonna be good. Yeah. That's a tree, that's plenty. I'm gonna start there in a few minutes. That should have a few fish waiting, hopefully. And how many will you put on the fire line? And loads. <laughs> Bucket full. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I was a bit. Because I'm not gonna. I was a bit shy. I just put like. We know there's skimmers in that here. Yeah. And they're, they're a good size, so I'm gonna put in enough to hold them there for the majority of the, of the time. Like, it's dodgy casting this on this rod. It's really a bit too heavy, but I'll give it a go. You don't want to have them. Too small of an area, you know. And I won't strike this out on the way down because I want it to be all on the bottom. Okay, food for top. Hmm. You heard it here first. <laughs> Aye. It takes a while to do this, so you should. If you'd one of them bod rods, it'd make a lot more sense. Yeah, I keep thinking I'll get one. <coughs> More to carry. Yeah. And some place you're not allowed to use them in a man. That, that feeder holds a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just, Is it 50 gram or no, it, 30 gram? It was a 40 gram, but I've drilled a load of holes in it. Yeah. Okay. It's probably about, it's only about 20 gram of lead on it. When it's full of stuff, it's, it's just as much as a shroud will cast. <clears throat> It takes a while to do this because it's so deep. It does, but it's just uh, just made me think I need to go up. It might work. And feed. Well, right, okay then, right. I've put three feeders full with a bleeding pinch of caster and yeah. uh, pinky in it. Now that could be gone for all I know. 
Yeah, but when I go back up, I'll put another tree. Yeah. It's a real gamble doing this. Feeders in. I could, be, I could kill the whole thing, like. Oh, I doubt it. There's two of us here, mm. you know, and, like, let's face it, the lake is full of fish. Yeah. And we're probably sitting on the deeper area mm. in relation to this bay anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, because the lake is so fast, and really in Ireland, most of the lakes are undiscovered for want of a better. It's not like England where everybody knows the depth of every peg <laughs> in the place here. Well, here, from where you're fishing up there, right to the bottom, people say it gets deeper as you go down, but I've plumbed it at 40 metres the whole way down, it's pretty much the same depth. Then it shallows up a lot. Okay. Above you, like. So I'm getting through this, like, I'm nearly half the end of it, eh? I didn't think that one was gonna make it. Yeah, see, it's dodgy. Yeah. They have real um, short shock leader on casting off the braid, so you'd be, you'd be worried about cutting your bloody finger off something. My nope. sh shock leader's only a metre and a half. <clears throat> which is just enough to cushion the bigger fish, but you see everything. Well, when I was plumbing up, I was plumbing up a swim towards you there. Mm. Um, and a fish took me your uh, account of nine. On the way down? On the way down, yeah. No, there was no, I had nothing. It was mm. just a bare hook, like. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking, what's the story there? Like, Silver hook? Gold hook, actually. Mm. One of the series two, size 12. So, now well, it could have been a pike or anything because I smashed me hook length up, but I smashed her up with a knot. Yeah. But e e even at that, like, you know, it was a bit unusual, but it was a good sign that there was fish there. there yeah. You've just got one there as well, have you? No, no, that's it. Takes so long to hit the bottom. Oh, I thought you said there's one there. No, it's 27 foot, I think. I think I'll put another two or three in that loop. Right, well you're worrying me now because I'm going down to do <laughs> similar. Yeah. Might more up, you know. Hey, well. If it does have a lot of catching up to do on you. <laughs> but the skimmers move in, that should be enough to pretty much hold them all day. Then use a small feeder, I won't be using a big Yeah. Like I think I will go down and put a, a bit of bait in. On a, a, a the other. Oh, right. Um. Well, you see, you used me bigger rod there to feed right. that, because I was just going to fish the two of them over it. <laughs> uh, now there's nothing to say that I can't other than I'm guesstimating the counter reels. I should actually measure them out. Mm. Well, I don't. I don't use them measuring sticks. You I, I don't use them either. I. But I can't see why they're handy. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely do. Alright, that'll do. That's right on the spot. <clears throat> How many was that now? <laughs> good question, about seven I think. Yeah. Good luck at a, have a good right. lot of that used up now. So you're going through half of what was in it? More or less, and that, that there will do me now for fishing for roach for an hour. Hopefully it's catch. Right, well then I'm gonna go down uh, and do a bit, or I'll just keep putting bigger feeder folds in, maybe. Well, you can you can feed the short line heavy and go in the long one if you want. But like I'm, my short lines out there is the 34 tons of that reel, so it's it's far enough to catch the skimmers as well, and it can yeah. happen here. You get them on the short line. Well, I'm in 22 foot of water, yeah. or a count of 11, and if the theory of an ounce bomb falls uh, two foot per second, mm. which I'm going to do, I have to do, and I'm going to probably do it before I put this up, yeah. uh, just to just to see whether the theory of it is right. Yeah. 
you know, I have the uh, fish finder, them, yeah. one of them smart, oh, what's yeah. it called? The deeper. Yeah. Uh, and I was going to do it on Mentrum, where I know it's going to 18, 20 foot mm. of water, just to see the reflection, because I've, I've already done some deeper work on that. Like quick, quick link swivel. Yeah. We'll wait till you yeah. see what your force fish is like. You're probably going to be a little bit cooler, a bit longer. You're sitting behind huh? in the shade there. At least I have a bit of sunshine yeah. up on me. I was thinking we, we'll do a bit of fishing. We'll get a, a bit of footage done, uh, and then we'll just do kind of a. Uh, catch and release or not a catch and release a release shot yeah. but um the way in yeah. keep it a bit shorter yeah. where do you get the music it's you have to pick from certain ones yeah well it's free stuff that you can use yeah <laughs> Andy's funny in it, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, I did say I let it that, but no, that's good. I when I when I seen it, I laughed. So it was like, right, do you know what? It's actually funny. I didn't set your address. You set it for the longer rod. No, I didn't set it for either. Of them. Oh, did you? Not? That deep of time to for us. And this is your roach line, yeah? Yeah. Supposed to be anyway. Might take a while to get a bite at all, like it's so deep. I said that match here a few weeks ago and it was pretty much crap. Three kilo one and those grams. Yeah. But I'm not sure which pegs the fish. Well they fish down nearer yeah. the car park like. <clears throat> oh well, the fish here like, but I don't know which peg, maybe it's up the bottom. Oh, not the <coughs> What have we got on the hook? A single maggot? Maggot, just to see. So are we start on a single maggot? Yeah, this time of year. Maggot and a pinky maybe. Maybe it's not fresh at all, so it's not rigging them It'll take a while to get bites, it's so deep. It's a good venue, it's a pity about the walk, but sure. Yeah. Maybe that's half the reason why it's a, a good venue, because the walk puts a lot of people off. Yeah. It won't 
won't be much of a video if we both blank. <laughs> Well, it'll still be good footage. It's um, a bit calm today. Yeah. Really want to win coming that the way. The breeze is coming over our back, mm. which I thought was a good thing. Well, no, we want to come in the town. No, I'm saying. All right, look, I'll go down and they'll be yeah. fishing on a bit of feeding. Wait till we start catching.